Let's touch on how to set up a charging schedule within the Uconnect Hybrid Electric Pages. First of all, go to the Apps page, then scroll to the Hybrid Electric Pages. From there, you're going to want to go to Charging Schedule, then click on the Enable Schedule box. From there, you can schedule weekdays and weekends on different times. Let's set a weekday schedule. You'll want to take advantage of off-peak hours. So let's say 9 p.m. till 4 a.m. And back out of it. It'll ask you, save scheduled charge settings? Yes. Now you can utilize the time it's going to take to recharge at either level one or level two with your driving history and the eco-coaching to figure out how much time you need to charge on any particular day. show your face here again, but here you are, snooping around with this, what are you, a performer, what's with the costume? Sir, I am a mime, she is a mime, this mime cannot speak, you can't speak if you're a mime. No, I am a cop, and I'm on the Emmett Oddity case, and my evidence puts me in your car. Frankie the Wop, Freddy No Nose, and then there was Pete the Killer, who was Sally Balls' brother, and you had Nicky Eyes, and Mikey Franchese, and Jimmy Two Times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like... Yeah, 
For us to live any other way was nuts. Us, those pretty good people who worked shitty jobs for bum paychecks and took the subway to work every day, worried about their bills, were dead. And they were suckers. They had no balls. If we wanted something, we just took it. If anyone complained twice, they got hit so bad, believe me, they never complained again. It was just all routine, and you didn't even think about it. Could there be any position 
farther down the truck. I'm sorry, I can't do anything. He's too incompetent, and the bottom line is he cannot be trusted. I'm sorry. Mr. Rothstein, your people never will understand the way it works out. You're all just our guests. Jack Lockwood. And that's our brother. But that's where we're going to send you over here. That's the book. He's the one who arranged this whole thing for you, man, too. Yes, yes. Sir. I was under the impression that you and I would talk alone. I trust these men over my life, sir. If I were to ask them to leave, it would be an insult. It's perfectly all right for me, but I should tell you that I am a blunt man, and I ain't going to speak very frankly. Maybe more frankly than anyone in my position to ever talk to. Early on family, you've done very well here in Nevada. You own or you control two major hotels in Vegas. One in Reno. The licenses were grandfathered in, so there's no problem with the game. Now, my sources tell me that you plan to make a move against the crowd together. Tell me that within a week you're going to move Klingman out. That's quite expensive. However, it will leave you with one little tech problem. The last one will still be in Klingman's name. Turnbull is a good man. Yeah, well, let's cut out the bullshit. I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. You're going to have the last price is $250,000. That's a monthly payment of 5% of the gross of all four hotels. Now the price of the license is less than $20,000. That's right. Now why would I ever consider paying more? Because I intend to squeeze. I don't like you.
In the U.S., the demand for clean power, modernized infrastructure, and resilient supply chains is shaping how we create policy, invest, and grow our economy. Most of all, these factors affect how we live. With proven experience in energy, railway, and social infrastructure, Hitachi is helping power America's journey to a sustainable society. Our technologies help you make real, positive impacts in your community. America has significant public infrastructure goals. Improved transit, rail networks, distributed energy resources, and more. Hitachi serves those needs, deploying the first driverless urban transit system in the U.S., featuring new innovations in video intelligence. To meet demand for sustainable electric vehicles, Hitachi established EV manufacturing plants in the U.S., positioning America as a world leader in EV technologies. Supply chain stability and resilient manufacturing have never been more important. Predictive maintenance solutions and fully automated robotic lines push efficiency even further. That's reliability made here in America. We're on an accelerated path to clean energy. Hitachi is now I see a picture. An image of such fullness painted in. Show you